successful season for the club first year at this level, how do you sort of see your role in progressing the club forward? Um, don't see many changes. I don't want to see many changes. Um, I want us to be a, a closer, closer unit. And that's not just on the playing side, that's right from the club. And I just feel that we need maybe two stroke three signings. And I think we've got every chance of doing well. Just obviously uh, um, mentioning the FA Cup speaking to Dave the other day, obviously that's a, an exciting <coughs> proposition for the club as well. Was that a big factor in sort of taking over as well? Or? No, not really. The, the reason I think I've got a decent relationship with the lads, get all these two lads reasonably well, so that's a bonus. Um, but no, it's, it was more for the lads and I, and I believe I can make the players better than what we showed last year and I do believe that and I think that will show in the performances. Definitely. So just a question for you Dave, obviously uh, new man in charge, was it an easy decision for you? Um, in, in football in terms yeah, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, um, Marcus is renowned around the town for his, his ability as a footballer and, and that comes across now as a coach and uh, he showed that last year, um, helping Andy out. Um, it was just a difficult decision in the sense that would Marcus be able to take the full role on because it is a full time, virtually a full time job, you just non stop. Um, and that was the question we asked Marcus whether he could do that. Uh, and thankfully he said he would be able to, to take that, that, that role on. So, you know, yeah, really pleased for it. Okay, in your, in your time it's for the season as, as chairman, obviously a uh, new coaching team in place. Is it to, presumably to go one better than last year? Oh, definitely so, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, um, I don't want to heap a bit of pressure on Marcus, but we will be looking for promotion. We will be looking for promotion. We've got the players, we've definitely got the players. We showed that last year. Um, if we'd have just maybe tweaked it a little bit, you know, but that's not taking anything away from Andy. But, uh, you know, I think uh, we just fell away at the wrong time. We could, you know, we were, in, we were all set in the, in the right, right position leading up to the to the running and unfortunately it didn't happen but that's football you know so I'm sure Marcus will uh, will will help us forward into into progression and, and hopefully fingers crossed we'll get his promotion. Uh, what brand of football would you be looking to play? Well as in attacking wise? Um, yeah just what kind of philosophy? Um, well it'd be easy to sit here and say we're going to play football all the time with that that would be a lie. We're going to play most of the time be 4 4 2, most of the time be, it'll be attacking. Um, yeah, tough question, really. Yeah. Yeah, I won't say expansive, but it'll be decent football. Yeah, okay. Just a word on, obviously, uh, the, the rest of the league. I think um, last year a lot of results showed that teams in that league are capable of beating each other. Is, is that something that you see as the case? And, and if so, how do you sort of push the team forward to, to be one step ahead of, of the rivals? Yeah, after, after having a, after staying away from football for a few years and then coming back, the league is slightly better than what I thought it was. But I don't think it's great. And I do think there's a certain way that you can play against the majority of the teams to to get past 
this level onto the next level, which hopefully you'll be able to play slightly more football than what we may have to play this year. But we'll see. Uh, what's your evaluation of the current <coughs> squad? Current squad's good, strong. A lot of good players shouldn't be playing at this level, but they're playing at this level because, well, for various reasons, but the props perhaps not um, apply themselves at times. And I think if we can get them believing, I mean, I, I could go through the squad, I would say 75% of them should not be playing at this level, but for some reason they are. So if I can get into that, and just get that extra 10, 15 percent, then hopefully we'll be able to take them to the next level. And kicking off with a friendly against Grimsby as well. Then how do you see that game? Is it a big moment for the club? Yeah, we've just got to kick off on the first minute to the last one. Quite hard. <laughs> 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 that would be good. That'd be good for us. It'd be a good test for us. It, a slight problem. It's very early for us. I don't really want to be, be starting pre-season too early with the Grimsby Town game being the main focus. We've got to still maintain the first game of the season is when we need to be in our peak, not the Grimsby Town game. However, I'm sure the lads will be taking it on myself pretty seriously. Uh, what are your short-term aims? Short-term aims now is... Well, I didn't realise until I took the job that the season never finishes, does it? I mean, everyone's ringing our players up and, and I realise you've got to start doing your ringing now. A few years ago, you had three weeks off before anybody spoke to anybody. That's not the case now. So, short term is, along with uh, Matty, Dave and Steve-O, is getting our squad together, getting the players, identifying what we need, which we've already done, and seeing if we can get that sorted out in the next 10 days. And at the minute, we seem to have a few lines in the fire if you like. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, everybody? We're all finished? Yeah, Dave, Dave, Matty and Steve, what do you think you can bring to the, uh, the job? What sort of roles do you think you three will play in the, in the success of Fleet Ops Town next season? <coughs> I'm just looking to do the coach, to go from maths, to do the coaching. Um, I'm just going to bring some different coaching methods to the squad, hopefully set pieces and stuff to make us a bit stronger. I think we'll, we'll both say something about keep us both quiet. So, I'm a fair, so I think um, <coughs> we really enjoyed the season we had last year. We've worked an awful lot in the last couple of years in terms of, sort of looking after Lynx League teams, reserve team managers. And um, I think being asked the question from Marcus and the respect we have for him um, as a football man, really, the way he's spoken today, I think that's his, his definitely the right choice. He's just excited us really in terms of taking on this opportunity to help the club. I think we'll do what Michael wants us to do, help get the squad together, help people realise their potential a little bit and get that feel good factor around the club and that, that should go onto the pitch and get good results which really good performances. That's that's our role I see it as. Yeah, and, and to carry on from that I sort of feel that with the appointment of Mark over promoting the club ethic we've been quite fun with him. Thanks for all bring the club together, get people feeling good about the place, see the young kids out there. Hopefully we'll have that cohesion in the future when they all come through. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. <coughs>